Hello, Stampers. Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm going to wait for a few more people to get on here before I get into everything. But I do want to find my live on here so I can see your comments and who's popping in. This takes a lot longer than just going live on Facebook when I'm using Zoom. So that's why there's kind of always a little stall at the beginning. There's so many things that I have to put into place before I can actually get this thing rolling. Like, holy cow, it's a lot. <laughs> so Facebook Live was so much easier, you guys. But I am a stubborn and I am not a quitter. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep doing it like this. I think that our picture is a lot nicer on Zoom also. Like it doesn't have, seem to have the streaming problems. I noticed on my team meeting last night that um, it got a little blurry a few times, but not too bad. So I see Heather and Heather and Linda and Connie is here and Wendy and Donna, Kelly, Kathy, Gilmore, Lisa, Karen, Mary, Joanne, Sharon, Rhonda, holy cow. Got quite a crew for a Friday night, right? So I hope you guys had a good day. I hosted breakfast this morning for Haley and Jared and little Val. She didn't eat though. <laughs> Just kidding. So I made um, homemade waffles and we had maple syrup, real maple syrup. Always got to have the real syrup. And um, I made some strawberry syrup. Now, if you watched me yesterday, I think that's when I told you guys about, I make um, homemade strawberry freezer jam and we're kind of spoiled at my house. That's the only kind of jam the whole family likes. And when I'm running low on maple syrup, I will take and put some of that jam into a measuring cup and then add just a little bit of water to it and heat it in the microwave for warm strawberry syrup. It's the best with waffles. I like it. That's my favorite with waffles. So I wasn't running low on maple syrup because Cindy, my friend from Yalesville, shipped me two quarts of maple syrup, which was wonderful. And we are eating that like it's we're using a lot of it. So um, but I just really wanted that strawberry syrup this morning. And then I told you guys that I bought bacon. I think I told you this. I bought bacon at Costco. You get this extra thick bacon and it's like two packs for ten dollars or something like that close to $10, maybe it's 10.99, I don't know. But anyways, I thought I'd give it a try. It's Kirkland, which is the Costco brand bacon. And I have to tell you guys, not only did it take a lot longer to cook it, it's really thick bacon, but it didn't have that much flavor. I don't know if it was just this pig. I don't know if I'm willing to try it again, but I like farmland thick sliced bacon, best flavored bacon ever. And it's a reasonably priced bacon, but get the thick. The thick is so much better. Anyways, I thought I'd share that with you. And I promised to share, oh, I got to get a note here. I promised to share my waffle recipe because some of you were asking for that last night. So not only did I get my recipe so that I can share it with you, but I also took pictures of my little process. So maybe I'll post that tonight when I'm done, if I have time, otherwise I'll get it loaded up tomorrow. But homemade waffles, they're just delightful and I love them. And can you guys tell it's summer here today? <laughs> Kelly is in heaven. It is summer in Wisconsin today. We had 80 degree temperatures. And um, if you live in Wisconsin and you got to enjoy this beautiful weather today, you have me to thank. Remember, I took the snowflakes down off the window. Yep. And I got my summer clothes into my dressing room. And I'm actually wearing one of my summer shirts today. So I'm sure that had everything to do with our beautiful weather today. <laughs> wow, she's full of herself. Ah. Linda's asking if we have a waffle recipe. Yes, I will share that with you. And um, I took some pictures so I could do a whole post about the waffles. But don't buy the Kirkland bacon. It just doesn't taste that great. I mean, it wasn't bad, but um, the... Uh, farmland thick sliced bacon that you can buy at your grocery stores, at least here in the Midwest, way better tasting. I love bacon. Who doesn't love bacon? I don't think you could be my friend if you don't love bacon. Just saying. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's okay. So um, let's see. 
Should we have a Menasha news update? Would anybody like to hear about John? I know you guys do. So today, Steve informed me that John, you know, he got the riding lawnmower yesterday, new riding lawnmower. John, his father-in-law actually bought that for him. That was a little weird. He told Steve that. <laughs> I don't know why. I remember these are our very next door neighbors that I don't even know the wife's name and they've lived here longer than we have and we've been here for 20 plus years. So yeah, just a little different. And then somebody said that wouldn't it be funny if John's wife was watching my program? Yeah, I don't think she would. So um, anyways, it's just kind of funny the way Steve keeps track of John. If you guys have missed that, <laughs> John is our next door neighbor and Steve will come and open my door. I could be right in the middle of a video. He will come in and open my door and say, hey, John didn't go to work today until nine o'clock. Something's going on <laughs> or something's happening. John just backed into the driveway. And this is where the CQ 2020 has taken us. My husband is watching every move in this neighborhood. <laughs> and John just happens to be the convenient guy next door that Steve's going to keep track of and tell me all about. So I just thought that was kind of hysterical. And then um, what else? I got to feed val little miss val today several times they were here until about almost well four o'clock this afternoon so guess what kelly got done today well she got a lot of grandma snuggles lots of baby snuggles um she took a short little nap with the baby right here so that was really special she got to feed the baby and burp the baby and that's about it <laughs> No, I actually did come in here and do a little work since four o'clock and I have my Facebook live ready to roll on Sunday. So yay me. And it's going to be all about rainbows and sunshine. And we're not actually making anything with rainbows or any sunshine, but you're going to love it. It's a very, very pretty project. So I think I've got six cards that I'm going to share with you on Sunday night, which brings me to I am not going to be live tomorrow, I don't think, unless some type of a miracle happens, I will be working all day and I'm going to be swamped, swamped, swamped. And the last couple of weeks, I have been taking Saturdays off. So I will see you guys back here again on Sunday night at, do I go live at 7 p.m.? Yeah, I think 7 p.m. Central Time. My gosh, I've only been doing it for two years at the same time. I can't even remember. 7 p.m. Central Time live right here on Sunday night. So I just wanted to make sure you know that. And if you could do me a little favor, if you could hit that share button right now, that really helps me out. If you share my video right to your timeline, you never know who in your friends list on Facebook might be interested in joining us for a little creative hour. So um, I really appreciate that. That helps me grow my business. Give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. And if you're new, please make sure that you're leaving a comment because everyone that leaves a comment is um, entered in a drawing to win a door prize, which brings me to the door prize. I am going to be featuring the mosaic or the memorable, memorable mosaic um, suite tonight for the card that we're making. And one of the things that is in that suite is the flower faceted gems. And aren't those just gorgeous? They're absolutely beautiful. So I thought this would be a great thing to give away as a door prize tonight. This is for all of the viewers last night got entered in the drawing. And I'm excited to let you know that Debbie Spicer of Redmond, Oregon is our winner of the flower faceted gems. These are part of the memorable mosaic suite of products. So, oh my gosh, they're so cute. And they're all self-adhesive. And Debbie, I will be getting these off in the mail to you tomorrow. So congratulations. And then I've got some mail to share with you. So I received the cutest little card today in the mail. And this is actually from Marilyn. Look at how cute this is. Oh, I got to make sure I'm getting it in the right place. Hang on. There we go. I've actually got Steve's iPad sitting right over here because I think Haley's sleeping. I need three people to log into Zoom for me to be able to do this. <laughs> and if that third person isn't there, I can't spotlight my camera. So I usually message Haley and tell her to log in and then everything works as normal. But I messaged her tonight and she didn't show up. So 
I, I, I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to bring Steve's iPad in here and I'm going to log that into Zoom. My computer's logged into Zoom and my phone is logged into Zoom. We are logged in, people. So this card from Marilyn says, hi, Kelly. Look forward to your live each day. Love the kits. They are great. Also like the family updates and hearing about Val. She is so precious. And isn't this card cute? You know, we've got our six foot distancing. And then on the inside, miss you, friend. And I just thought this was hysterical. I love the stamp set. What is that set called? Back on your feet. This is a great stamp set. I know one of my team members won, um, won a stamp set of their choice. And this is the one that they chose. And that is now in. If you're watching tonight, Judy, your stamp set is in. And I will be mailing that off to you too soon. So we've got that. Let me put that back in here. Then this is so cute. And this is from Evelyn. Hang on, my crown is falling off. Evelyn Boswin. I'm sorry, Boswell. Look what she sent me. Let me make sure I get this on the camera. This is a door hanger treat box template. She wanted to make one of these. And so she saw it on somebody's website and she sent me all the dimensions after she figured them out. So we are going to be making one of these soon. And thank you so much, Evelyn. I thought this was just, when I got it today, I just was like, oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Um, she says, Kelly, couldn't stand it until I got this thing figured out. Do your thing and embellish away. <laughs> I will. Don't worry. So thank you very much. And thank you for figuring out all those dimensions. Because that's exactly what I do. I find stuff that I like online and then I figure it out so I can tell you all the details and share it with you. And I will be doing that soon. My next card comes from Lucia Lise. Look at how pretty. Whoops, let me get this in here. Look at how pretty this is. Yeah, this is just beautiful. And this was a card that says twinkle, twinkle, tiny light, little eyes that shine so bright, a precious baby from heaven above fills our hearts with so much love. That is the sentiment on the inside. And I thought that was so cute. Lucia says, congratulations on the birth of Val. What a beautiful family. During these challenging and difficult times, a life is born, a light, a promise of hope a gift and a true miracle. And when I read this, I like actually teared up just like I'm doing right now. And I don't know why, but um, this is so true. Enjoy each moment for she'll grow up too soon. Thank you so much for your daily appearances and sharing your love and gift of paper crafting. You're a ray of sunshine in the mist and we need it. Yeah, I don't know. Why did that make me tear up? I don't know, but thank you very much. That was so sweet. And it's true. Like there's something good that has come out of this. There's lots of good things, right? We have all of our um, essential workers that are pretty much heroes, really, from the doctors and nurses and hospital staff to our grocery clerks and gas station operators and even our restaurants that are continuing to provide takeout food for us. Those are heroes. Okay, what else did I get? Oh my gosh, this is exciting. So I got another package from Terry. If you remember, Terry has been sending me her extra stuff, extra stuff that she has in her stash of goodies. Today, I get a package from Terry. We have the hammered metal embossing folder. I never know which way to go with this. We actually have two of those to give away. And also, she sent me some adhesive labels for my pen tips. So these are really cool. And these little labels go on the end of the, I think, the stamp and write markers. I mean, the stamp and blend markers. Yeah, your blends. It's kind of, this got a little torn. So all these little stickers, I'm going to put on the end so that when they're sitting here in my um, holder deal, I don't have to pull them out to see what color they are. Thank you, Terry. I love helpful stuff like that. Like, I love it. She also sent along the button button embossing folder. This is an ador adorable embossing folder. So we've got, I'm keeping the labels, sorry. I'm a little selfish like that. <laughs> but I will be giving away these three embossing folders for our live Facebook live drawings, right? Terry, you're the best. Thank you so much. And if you're watching tonight, Terry, I do have, um, 
the notebooks. I'm going to be sending you the notebooks. Terry's actually just joined my team and she had asked about getting the Stampin' Up! notebook. So I, I'll be contacting you and getting those off to you soon. So she said, I really appreciate your lives. I have been having a hard time and your lives lift me up. I cannot thank you enough. Well, I am happy to hear that this is making your day a little bit brighter. That is exactly what I am trying to accomplish by doing daily Facebook Lives. I think we're so um, isolated that we need to have a little time together. We need to have a little fun, a little downtime where you can just sit back and laugh at me or laugh with me. Both are fine. I'm good with either one, but just to have a little relaxing crafting time where you're not just doing it alone, right? And um, the TV won't talk back to you. Yeah, I, I have my TV on all day. I'm such a TV whore. Did I just say that? I did, but I am. I, I, I've got a TV in every room and I just have to have the TV on all the time. Oh, Haley just woke up. Hi, Haley. <laughs> So I made the Zoom work by grabbing your dad's iPad. And I'm so I'm on my iPad, my laptop, and my phone. Boom, we got her. So um, I hope you had a good nap if that's what you were doing. I really don't know that's what she was doing, but I'm just sure. Oh, and Terry's on here. And she said blender pens. Yep. So that's what I um, that's what I thought. Thank you so much, Terry. That was so sweet of you. All right, I'm gonna get some lights on here. It's raining hard in Maine. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, that's not that's not fun unless you need rain, I guess, right? Okay, I'm gonna take a dip under my um, desk. You know, I have things down here. I just wanted to make sure that my phone was plugged in because you know what? Somebody actually messaged me one time and said the first video they ever caught and the part where they caught me in it. I was actually dipping down under my desk to do something. And they thought that was so funny. They just kept following me. They kept watching. So do you need me to go under my desk again? Because I can certainly do that. <laughs> Everything's plugged in. I don't think we should have any technical difficulties tonight. I've got my phone here. I think we're ready to do the flip. Are you ready to do the flip? It's as easy as a little button now because I'm getting pretty fancy, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, oh, I see Haley did come on Zoom. So thanks, Hales, but you don't need to be on tonight if you don't want to. I am going to spotlight my desk and there we go. I can actually zoom this down just a little bit. So I'm not taking up so much space there. Eh, that's good. Okay. So memorable mosaic. Now it's kind of funny because I just did a team meeting last night and we used I used this paper to demonstrate a one sheet wonder. And um, the Mosaic Mood Specialty Designer Series paper is absolutely gorgeous. This is just so soft, but yet colorful. It's got some hummingbirds on it. It's got butterflies, these beautiful flowers. And it's all, the pattern is all mosaics, which is very interesting. And it's a specialty paper. If you can see that in the light, these are um, clear embossed so that they're shiny. So is this, this paper, this bird, this flower, these leaves. It's just such a pretty paper. Now, this is retiring. Of course, all of our designer series paper retires with each annual catalog. Uh, well, I shouldn't say that because oh, things are a changing, but all of the paper in the annual catalog is retiring. How about if I say that? I think that's safe to say. But yeah, this is beautiful, beautiful paper. This suite also comes with the, oh, I was going to open this up. Hang on. I got a marker here so I can find it easily. It also comes with the mosaic 3D embossing folder. And I have a, here we go, a piece of, whoops, sorry guys. I have a piece of um, cardstock. This is mint macaron that I happen to emboss with this. This is just a cool look for just about any card. I'm telling you, it is beautiful. You can use either side. I don't know why, but this reminds me of the Colosseum in Rome, like seats. I, I don't know. It's that's where my mind goes. I'm not quite sure why we all know it works in very crazy ways. Right. <laughs> but anyways, that's called the memorable, um, no, the mosaic 3d embossing folder. And then we have this beautiful stamp set. We've got a two-step tree here that's made out of mosaics. The, um, what are those? Willow trees. And the trunk is, and then all of these 
are mosaics. They all have mosaic patterns in them. So they, even the thank you down here, they go together quite well. So you can find that on page 118, 119, and then over on 120 is the designer paper and the um, stamp set called Memorable Mosaic. It is retiring. This is retiring. I'm pretty sure the embossing folder is retiring. I like to go through my catalog and mark it all up as long as I don't do it wrong. It usually saves my butt quite a bit. Our embossing folders, um, yes, the Mosaic 3D is also retiring. So we've got a lot of retiring going on here. Now, it also has in the suite is this timeless label punch. And let's take a look. I don't think that is not retiring. So the punch is sticking around, but the rest of the suite is retiring. Okay, so just wanted to make sure you're aware of that. This is one of those that if you want to get it, you need to get it before the end of the month. Actually, Stampin' Up! is guaranteeing stamp sets until May 22nd. So we won't run out of stamp sets. They may go on back order if we run out of them, but they'll make more until May 22nd. After that, if they run out, they're just gone. Out of stock, they're not going to make anymore. So I kind of like that they will continue to make them until a certain date, right? Because then that it's kind of makes my job a little bit easier. All right. Now, the card that I'm demonstrating for you tonight is a really pretty card. Oh, I forgot to write down my measurements. Well, we'll have to do it together. But um, it's also, this was the card for my monthly online technique club. So this video is actually serving two purposes. Number one, it's gonna give a video tutorial to everybody that got this card to show them how to do the technique. And I got to share it with you guys tonight. So that's kind of the best of both worlds, right? I'm using very vanilla. Oh, I'm just gonna get out, hang on. I'm just gonna get an envelope that I forgot. Let's see, where's my vanilla envelopes? Oh no, I don't see any. Hang on, guys, looking for envelopes. Huh. I know I have some. Here they are. Wrong drawer. Don't worry, I got them. Whew, sorry about that. We do have um, Whisper White and Buried Vanilla envelopes. So I grabbed one that's going to match my card. And then I'm going to be using Soft Suede. This is three and three quarters by three and a quarter. And then another layer of vanilla that's just a quarter inch smaller on both sides. So that would be three and a half by three. Math is hard. <laughs> and then I have a piece of the designer series paper and you could actually use either side of this. This is two and a half by four and another piece of designer series paper that is three quarters by four and a quarter and a scrap of van vanilla, very vanilla. So we're going to take this card base and do our thing with it. Oh, hang on. I got to get my Facebook back up on the screen here. See, there's a lot. It's almost like I need a person here to help me with this. Oh, <laughs> Debbie said no measurements. Does this mean a hot flash is coming? No, but I'm sure I won't disappoint you tonight. So just hang in there, kiddo. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was funny and true. Okay. So what I decided to do with this three quarter inch piece is to use it as an embellishment inside my card. You could use either side, but I'm going to use the striped side. And we're going to put that right over here. And it's just kind of a nice little thing when you open the card, there's still some stuff going on. You guys know I like to decorate the insides. I also like it when my layers are put on straight. <laughs> that could cause a hot flash, Debbie. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Okay, no more growling. Here we go. Look how pretty that is, right? All right, then we're going to take this piece. It, like I said, you could use either side. I think I'm gonna use the hummingbird side. Most of it is gonna get covered up anyway, so it doesn't really matter which way it goes. It's just kind of an embellishment of some color peeking out. So we're gonna put that right over here. Then we've got this scrap and then bring in my piercing mat. Just so you guys know, these piercing mats are retiring. Stamp It Up is getting rid of them. They're not gonna carry them anymore. So if you need some type of surface, this is what I stamp on and I stamp everything on these. 
because our bigger photopolymer, the clear rubber stamps, if you have a big one, it will not stamp without some type of a very firm cushion. So these are only like, I don't know, five, six dollars maybe, I'm not sure, but um, I love them. And I just wanted to let you know they're going away. I probably am gonna continue to use mine because I like it. So we've got some inks here. We've got Mint Macron, Balmy Blue, Soft Suede, Mango Melody, and Mossy Meadow. And I'm gonna pull out that Soft Suede. Now remember, you can find all the dimensions for these cards above the video once we're done. I will go back in and edit the description to include the dimensions. Sometimes I put a product list in there so you can see item codes and the proper names of all the tools that I use. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love that. Oh, look what I did already. Yeah. No hot flash yet, Debbie. We're good. Okay. No panic. <laughs> and then we're going to punch this out with that timeless label punch. I really like this. It's easy. It's quick. And you know, Dyes are fabulous and I like dyes, but I am a punch girl through and through. Quick and easy. I don't have to go to a machine. I don't have to do all the things. So I really like that. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this ribbon. I'm pretty sure that this is part of that suite of products and I just glossed right over it. So let me find it. And now I'm getting a hot flash because <laughs> I can't remember what page it's on. Hang on, memorable mosaic. Woo, here it comes. 120. So for those of you that may be new, I tend to get hot flashes when I mess up. <laughs> yep, here it is. Um, this is the quarter inch textile ribbon. I completely forgot to show that to you. Okay, hang on while I grab something. Holy man. Yep. Oh, that feels so good. Today I actually had to turn on my fan in my room. I had my heater on when I got up this morning. My, I've got a space heater under my desk. Then I had to turn on my fan because I got so warm and now I'm like sweating to death. Just wait till it gets really warm and stays really warm here, then you're gonna see a lot of sweating. It might be a little gross. It might be too much, <laughs> but believe me, I will not disappoint you in that area. <laughs> okay, so I'm just doing, I call this like a cancer ribbon, right? That's the symbol for cancer. And I just loop it around like that. And then I'm gonna grab myself a piece of Amish tape and I'm gonna place this behind here just so it's pretty like that. I just wanted a little embellishment to go with my card. Oops. Well, you wanna get the tape so that it goes to the other side of the ribbon, unlike what I just did. There we go. Okay, that looks fantastic. We're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of there. Oh, I'm so hot. Oh, my screen isn't scrolling again. I'm trying to look at your messages here and I'm not seeing anything. So Cheryl says she prefers punches over dyes every time. I do too. Now, of course I buy dyes because we've got some really, really cool dyes, right? But I, I wish there were more punches. If I had my way, all the dyes would be punches. Now, that's really expensive because punches cost quite a bit of money. Whereas you can get a whole set of dyes for $30. You get one punch for like 18. So I get that. They also take up a lot more room, right? I still love them. Okay. Here comes our card base in here. Now we're going to do the technique. And this technique, and then I'm going to show you my, um, oh, here it is, my instruction card that goes with this online technique club. And I'll tell you all about it, just in case you're interested. And even if you're not, you can hang with me and listen, right? <laughs> Who knows? I'm sure there'll be some type of shenanigans that go on. Oh, you can see that. I made like a... I didn't make these. My assistant Brooke made up all the technique cards. She does a fabulous job for me and I love her to death. I think I would completely drown without my helpers. So yay, Brooke. Okay, so I've got, this is, this is just painter's tape. This is frog tape. It doesn't have to be frog tape. It can actually be masking tape. One thing you're gonna wanna do though, is if your tape has got a lot of sticky on it, you're gonna wanna like press it onto your jeans or your or your pants. I've got capris on today, like t-shirt material. Press it on there, whoops, <laughs> and, um, and press it on, pull it off. Press it on, pull it off because you don't want it to be too sticky. And you wanna make sure that you tear your tape longer than your length of your ink pad. And I'm going with the ink pad the long way, okay? I'm gonna do that. 
And let's see, this is the mint macaron. We're gonna do that one first. Whoops, you can turn it this way. And you're just gonna press that tape. Now your fingers are gonna get messy. So if you have a problem with that, maybe this technique isn't for you, but I think in general, stamping is kind of messy, right? And we're gonna take our cardstock laying this way and we're just going to push it right on there, pull it right off and look at that. Okay, that's real weird looking, right? Hang tight. Now, that tape is gonna stay with that ink pad and you can make as many of these as you want. You have to grab a new piece for the next one. And I'm going to, again, here, I'll flip the screen for you so you can see what I'm doing. Hang on. Um, spotlight video. Okay, so I'm taking, I'm taking this and I wanna put it on my boobs, right? <laughs> And you just put it on your clothing and pull it off like that. Okay, so back to a regularly scheduled program. Here we go. Okay, pretty fancy, right? I like it. All right, now we're going to take this in the balmy blue. Oh, Steve is taking a shower. So, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Steve and Jared dug the hole today, like a big square hole in the ground and got all the dirt out and put in the um, wooden forms for our cement pour for the tiki bar. What? I know I'm super excited about it. Okay, so this was Bobby Blue. And I now notice I, I didn't I didn't use the whole piece of tape here to do that green part. I kind of pulled it down so it was here and here. I didn't want it to be that wide. And now I'm gonna go right here with the blue. Look at how cool that looks, right? We're gonna keep that tape in there. We're gonna grab another piece, whoops, another piece, and I'm gonna stick it on my clothes again. One thing you don't want to have happen is for you to put it in the ink and then put it on here and have it tear your cardstock. That's not gonna be cool. And now my mango melody looks like I should have probably re-inked it. And I just stuck my finger in it. So we're gonna, you can see I've done that several times today. <laughs> I know, and I've only been stamping for a couple hours today. And we're going to put that up here at the top. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So now we have this, and you're kind of, I don't know, you're kind of looking at it like, yeah, well, I don't know, Kelly, what else? What else you got for me? Okay, so now we're going to stamp on here. So I am going to bring in my Mossy Meadow ink pad. And I'm gonna bring my soft suede back in here and we're gonna do a little stamping. We've got the tree trunk and I'm going to put that over here, just like that. Isn't that cool? I love the mosaic look in there. I just love it. And then we're going to bring in the willow tree leaves and I'm going to get this all inked up and we're going to stamp that. And I think I'd like to stamp it one more time. So I'm just going to move it over a little bit and stamp it again. And that just gives me some more leaves. It's completely up to you. And now we're gonna put our card together. Oh, Joan just asked, what kind of tape am I using? It's just painter's tape, Joan. You can use masking tape, you know, like the tan or cream colored masking tape, but you just wanna make sure that you rub it off on your clothes first before you do this so it doesn't stick. But I actually have frog tape. It's just what I had from painting rooms in my house. Um, but regular masking tape will work. You always wanna take some of the sticky off of it. Okay, then we're gonna put this on the front of our card. And I'm gonna put that right up here. And I chose these colors because they pretty much kind of match what's going on with my designer paper. And then we're going to take our label and we're gonna put that right down here. And I see I'm gonna to have to trim that off just a little bit. I wanna make sure it's on here. Oops, it was straight before I moved it. There we go. On here straight and I'm gonna take this Trim it up just a little bit more. There we go. 
And then if you want to, you can add some embellishments. You can add some rhinestones. You know what I think would, um, the flowers, I'm not gonna do those little flower um, embellishments that come with this. Let me show you these. Just because I want um, Debbie to have a full pack. <laughs> That's the only reason I'm not gonna put those on there. But I think, hang on a second, I'm grabbing. Here we go. Look at, I have these. I think these would look pretty. These are our gilded gems from the ornate um, garden suite. And I think these would look really pretty on here. Yeah, I like this a lot. The gold, I just, I don't know, I like gold. And I was a silver girl for a very long time. I wish Steve would have got me a gold ring, but he didn't. Don't tell him I said that because I love, it's beautiful. Men, men, if there's any men watching, if you're going to buy your wife a piece of expensive jewelry, she definitely needs to be consulted. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Here's our pretty card. The other thing that I wanted to do and I forgot about, let's see if I can find my pack of paper. Yes, it is. Oh, the new one. Here we go. Is to decorate my envelope. And you guys know exactly what I'm going to do, right? Let's see, which paper should I use? Gosh, these are just all so, so pretty. We've got the tree here. And I'm gonna definitely, look at, you've got this with the brighter colors and this is a little more subtle. I like that. I think what I'd like to do here is use the green. I'm gonna use the back. So I'm gonna do this one. Hang on a second. While I grab my paper cutter. And when you want to do the flap on an envelope, it's two and a half by six. And if you're in need of a new paper cutter, this one's pretty darn nice. It's only $25. It goes out to um, 17 inches. It's got a cutting blade and a scoring blade. It's got a hook here. You can put a screw in the wall and hang it from a wall next to your stamping area. It's pretty nice. And the blades are lasting a good long time, which is great, right? Okay, I'm going to do this. Does anybody, oh, I was going to say, does anybody see my glue? Okay. Oh, Yolanda wanted me to do a stripe like the one on the inside. I missed that. I could have certainly done that. Sorry about that. Yeah, this is just such a pretty way. Now, the other thing I could have done is I could have stamped this tree on the front of the envelope, or I also have this little design. I could have stamped that all over here on the flap too. I know Brooke stamped the, um, I asked her to stamp the, that little circle flower thing that I just showed you on the envelopes that went out to my online technique club members. There we go. Look at that. How pretty is that, right? Now, this is one of the um, instruction cards. So each month I have a technique and I will design a card and I will share it in a video. Then I make up a technique card. Usually I write on that card when the date that you can find that video on my blog or my YouTube channel or wherever. This time I didn't because I didn't do the video yet. I'm just doing it today. So I'll probably end up sending an email to all of my Technique Club members with a link to this video. And that way you can always have that instruction card with the date and you can go to my YouTube channel and go to, you know, uh, May 15th, 2020, or you can find five years ago or whatever and find a video tutorial on it. But each month, my online technique club gets a card made with the technique, and then they get an instruction card with the actual technique on it, which is really cool because when you have belonged to my club for a long time, you can put these all on a, a big ring and have like a whole booklet of them, or you can put them in a clear stamp case. This is the, um, oh, I have a bunch of cards. Hang on. That's the 3D technique. Let me see what I got here. Are these my, oh, they're not there either. Oh, they're up here. 
So here's one of my techniques that I did. This was from uh, November 2019. And this is called a whitewash technique. And then here's the card that everybody got that month. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Here's another one. This was from um, September. This is a chalkboard technique. And there's the card that everybody got that month. Now, what do you have to do to be in my technique club? Here's color blocking. This is fun. You use a, an acrylic block. I actually took this block, inked it up, and stamped with it for different size blocks. Um, you would get the card and the instruction sheet. To be in my technique club, first of all, you have to email me and tell me you'd like to be in the club. I will then send you an email with a link to all the um, details about the club. You need to place a minimum $25 order before tax and shipping with me each month for consecutive six months. When your six month period is up, you get a VIP, you have a VIP form that you can print out and you keep track of your orders that you're ordering each month. So one order each month for six months. All the details are on my blog in the right hand column under online technique club. But once you do that for six months, you get a $30 product, or I should say a $30 credit from me. So same as cash. If you put in an order for, you know, like $25 and there's $250 tax and $250 shipping, that's $30. That takes care of your $30. So um, it's a lot of fun. It's a great way to get back a little bit at the end of your months for ordering. I have a lot of people ask me if they put in a $100 order, will that count for four months of the Technique Club? No. It's one order each month, and you're going to be using a host code, my current host code, which is right here. And that's all you have to do. Now, I also have people asking me if I sell these separately. I do not. You have to be in my club to get these. And then I have other people saying, well, I'm a demonstrator, so I wouldn't order from you. I have lots of demonstrators that are ordering in this club because they don't have any support from their, maybe they don't have a team leader anymore. Um, so they choose to get support this way by getting these techniques. And I'm not suggesting that you should or shouldn't do that. I just want to let you know that that has been my experience, that um, I do have a lot of demonstrators that are in my technique club because they love getting these technique cards, right? And they're meeting their minimums, their sales minimums through their own demonstrator um, ID number. And then the $25 is just extra. So it just depends on what you can afford and what you want to do. I'll show you a few more here. Well, this is two cards. This is the double time stamping technique. And again, you've got the sample and then the actual card that was sent out. Here is the motion technique. By the way, this is just the coolest card. I love this. This stamp set is retiring. I'm really sad to see it go, but I did this in March of last year. This was the card that everybody got with the technique. This is one of my favorite ones. This is a watercolor technique and oh, I just love it. Like, isn't that a pretty way to decorate that heart? This uses watercolor paper. Then I've got embossed vellum and this was just the um, technique from last month. So this technique card was for April. I haven't done one for May yet. And you have to put in your order to be in this technique club between May, the first of the month and the 25th of the month, each month. And then usually the first week of the next month, following month is when I get these all made and mailed out. So just so you know, you have all months to get your order in and then beginning of the next month is when you get the card. So these were actually mailed out um, earlier this week and they are for April. Okay, so I showed you that one. Um, oh, this was, I got two of those cards. This is a spotlighting technique where you just spotlight. So that was kind of cool. I got another one of these too. Okay, so just some of my online technique club instruction sheets. What else? Oh, we did the basket weave fold one time. And I have people ask me if I have, if I repeat my techniques. And I have to tell you, look at this is a spinner card. I love these. Um, let me put my cards away and stop playing with them so I can get back to you. But um, I have not really repeated any of the techniques in as long as I've been doing this, except maybe something like emboss resist. 
because that type of a technique, there are so many, many different ways that you can do it that that might be one that I have um, repeated. So, but it's, it would be used in a different way. Like you have emboss resist where you use embossing powder, you have emboss resist where you use a white crayon. Um, there's all kinds of different resists. Another one that I may have repeated is masking, but you have a whole bunch of different ways to mask stuff. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. And um, people really seem to enjoy it. Like they do their six months and then they do another six months. And they always say, is it okay? Can I do another six months? Absolutely, you can. So there you have it. That is our masking tape technique. This was my online technique club card for the month of April. And um, I think, I'm not sure what we're going to do this month, but I have to get on that soon. I also, you guys, have a... Um, Oops, hang on, I went to the wrong place. I have a card swap that's due in the mail on Monday. I think I have to make like 22 of those using new products. So that's gonna be fun. And uh, yeah, so are there any questions that I missed? Because you know, it's hard to do this and do that and get the screens right. And now I have that thrown in there too, right? And uh, keep track of all the comments. So I don't mean to miss your comments, but a lot of times I just really do. <laughs> Marcia says your creativity and sheer volume of work just boggles my mind. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, Marcia, I'm kind of a workaholic, right? And I think it's funny that I call this work. I mean, it is my job, but it's so much fun. Like when you love what you're doing, it doesn't seem like work. It just doesn't. It's like I get to have so much fun all the time. <laughs> But yeah, and people always ask, do you ever sleep? Oh, I get plenty of sleep. Don't worry about that. If I go to bed at midnight, um, sometimes I'll sleep to like 8.30. That's eight and a half hours of sleep. That's a lot of sleep, right? Some nights I only get six, but I can take a nap too because I'm self-employed. And um, the boss lets me take a nap whenever I need to. And that would be me. <laughs> yeah, kind of like it. So mosaic mood specialty paper the mosaic 3d embossing folder i never know if i'm on the screen whoops i gotta go this way and then we've got the memorable mosaic stamp set those beautiful little embellishments that go with the suite these are called i never can remember the flower faceted gems so we've got those um, oh, and the ribbon, this beautiful textile ribbon. This is called, this is quarter inch, I think, quarter inch mint macron textile ribbon. This entire suite, along with the timeless label punch. This is not retiring. Everything else is retiring, just so you know. And of course, I always appreciate your orders, you guys. If you do decide to place an order with me, please use this host code down here, I got it right, this host code at the bottom, if your order is under $150. Now, if it's over $150, don't use that code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! and I definitely want you to have those. But if your order is under $150, the rewards are what help me buy all the door prizes that I can give away. So it's kind of, kind of a neat thing that Stampin' Up! Um, gives us that benefit. Also, if you've ever thought about getting a discount on your products, you can join my team as a discount shopper. You can also join my team and make a business out of it. But most of my team is discount shoppers and um, that 20, 25% discount. Plus, if you do decide to make a business out of it, the more that you sell, the higher that discount is. Like I get a 38% discount on all my orders because of the volume of business that I do. But it goes up in increments and it's pretty cool. It's a great way to get a discount on all your favorite products. And the best part is being part of something bigger, right? You get to be part of my team. I just did a team meeting last night. We did a one sheet wonder. It was so much fun. Um, there's a whole other world available if you're on my team, whether you're a discount shopper, a business builder, I don't, I don't discriminate. So everybody gets treated the same. And let's see. What else? What was the yellow? Oh, okay. So my colors were mango melody. So it's really kind of an orange. It, my label looks yellow because it's fading, but it's mango melody. All me blue and mint macaron were my colors that I used for the technique. 
the um, tape technique. And then I used mossy metal for the leaves on the tree and the trunk was soft suede as well as the label that was also soft suede. And these are all, um, except for the balmy blue, these are all coordinating colors from the paper. So that's where I kind of always am picking my color palette from, right? I get so confused. <laughs> which way, which should I go here, should I go there? I don't know. Okay. Oh, and Yolanda reminds me that I need to get my taxes done. Yeah, I haven't done those either. And remember those videos that I need to make? Well, I still need to make them. <laughs> don't worry, I'll get them done. For those of you that bought the country club um, online class for me, that's the videos that I'm talking about that I need to get done. And I will, I promise that these would be out Saturday. And unless I have some type of a major catastrophe, they will be. Does anybody have any questions that I missed? I'm still scanning here. Um, doo -doo. Let's see. I love the mint ribbon too, Kimberly. It's really, really pretty. Will the link from Terry be on your blog for the blends? Terry, if you want to send me that link, I can share that. You can send it to me in an instant message on Facebook. That would be awesome. And I'm just reading through everything. Oh, Tanya, don't worry. If you forget to add that hostess code, I don't ever want you to be like in the middle of an order and go, oh no, I don't know where to find the hostess code. It's always on my blog. Whether you go to the end of a blog post, it's always down there. You just look for the little square with the owl. Um, it looks a lot like this and it's just gonna have the host code, current host code. But if you ever can't find it, just go ahead and put your order in. I can go in and have Stampin' Up! move your order to that host code. So don't worry about that. <laughs> Stephanie says she hopes I have a productive and fun day tomorrow. I do too. Peggy's wondering when Haley and Val are done with maternity leave. Um, when school starts again. So Haley's a teacher. And if she goes back to, if she, if school resumes in September, she will start back at the end of August. So, um, you know, the school systems are already kind of preparing for that not happening. I mean, they're getting ready so that if it doesn't happen, they're going to be ready to do online teaching. So, Yeah, and if you ever need to get in touch with me, leaving a comment on here or even a comment someplace on my Facebook page is not the best place to get an answer. I try to read them all, but sometimes it gets a little overwhelming. And the one thing that I, you know, like I have to pick and choose sometimes what I'm not going to get done. And um, comments on Facebook sometimes I can't do. So it's not that I want to, it's just that that's the way it is. And, and because I do need to sleep. <laughs> Nobody wants a cranky Kelly, right? Nobody likes cranky Kelly. But um, just to let you know, if you want to email me, it's kelly at a stamp .com, Or you can private message me on Facebook. I do look at those uh, because they beep. They come in at me. These comments don't do that. I get so many um notifications on Facebook that half the time I don't even read those notifications. Right now I have 98. I just can't keep up with that. And please don't stop notifying me of stuff because I will see it eventually, but um, it's just impossible to keep up with that part. But I do read my emails and I do look at my private messages and I do look at my text messages. So <laughs> yeah, Wanda, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're welcome. Cheryl says, thanks for the technique ideas. You're very welcome. Melanie's coming in late. You can always catch up. And Helen says, when I use my stitch rectangle dies, one of them is so tight that it almost rips my paper. Hmm. So are you meaning that you're having a hard time, Helen, getting, getting them out of the die? Because sometimes my circle, my, my circle that's about this big in the stitch ones, it's really tight when I try to push it out. So let me show you what I mean. That's a really good question. And I think it's this one. This one is the one I use the most. So the paper's really tight in there. So I will take my die and I will like push my thumb against this and kind of push it against the paper and rub it around like that. And then it'll come out. Try that. 
let me know. Okay. Um, what else do I have? Wanda said where she is, moms get a year off. Well, that's pretty nice, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm just reading through comments again, hoping that I didn't miss anything. Thank you, Maggie says she loves the pictures of Val. I have more pictures to share. She was just like the cutest little angel today. Oh my goodness. She didn't even throw up on me. She knows where her bread is buttered, right? <laughs> no, I'm sure there'll be lots of that. <laughs> Oh, and Terry says use wax paper. So if you put wax paper down on top of your cardstock and then your dye, that's another way that you can um, help it get out of the dye. That's a good, I forgot all about that, Terry. Thank you so much. Andrea is saying the same thing, wax paper. Um, Yolanda is saying the same thing. Francie, everybody, Rachel, everybody's got the wax paper. I didn't even think of it. Thank you guys so much. And that's why I love getting together, right? It's like, oh yeah, wax paper. We're just nice people, right? All right, you guys, please don't forget to share my video. I always appreciate your orders. And um, if you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, I would have, be happy to send you the new catalog. I think they are on my porch right now. So I think UPS delivered them finally. And um, I will be getting those out in the mail probably by Monday. You know, I have to do some prep work with them before I can mail them out. But I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I will see you back here at 7 p.m. Central Time on Sunday night. And remember, it's going to be all about rainbows and sunshine. Any guesses? <laughs> no, you're not. You're not, you're not going to guess what we're doing, but it's going to be really pretty. Okay, you guys, have a great weekend. Bye. And it takes me forever to get off of here. So that's another thing that's kind of weird. Okay, we're done. Good night. <laughs>